Phoenix Rising by Rob Harper and Jack Fike. Episode 5 Previously on Phoenix Rising, it has been discovered that there is a serial killer on the night of the time. He's been found dead, but more importantly, Arkham has had a dark secret unearthed. A genetic marker is on his captain's file that would have denied his presence on this mission, but the government covered it up for political reasons. But once a secret is out, it is hard to hide it again. Arkham has woken up once again. It's not unusual, except this time, the hour is late. Even the bridge crew wouldn't bother him at this late hour. Yes? I know your secret, Arkham. You'll do as I say. Tell no one. I will call again. Who? The line goes dead, and a cold chill goes over Arkham's skin. Comms, give me Armitage. Armitage gets to Arkham's quarters quickly. He looks concerned. Who else knows? Just you and I and Crabtree who discovered it. Armitage looks at Arkham with a questioning look. No, I refuse to believe this is Crabtree. He would have kept the fact that he found it a secret. It would have made it easier for him to blackmail me. There's no way it's Crabtree. Okay, so another Comtech? I just don't know. See if you can trace the call. What do you think he wants? I have no idea, and that scares me. But, whatever it is, he won't be getting anything from me. Armitage leaves Arkham alone with his thoughts. First losing Dyer, and now this. He thought the Phoenix would be his biggest issue, and here he is dealing with all of this. He hits the comm button. Comms, get Comtech Crabtree on the line. And have him sent to my office. Right away, sir. Arkham dresses. It's going to be another long day. Enter. You wanted to see me, sir? Crabtree, I thought you said you could keep a secret. Sir, I did, I swear. I told no one. I believe you. Is there any way someone else would have found out this information? No, no one would notice unless they were looking. Wait. Oh, no, damn. I'm sorry, sir. I think I know what happened. When I discovered the changes, I reset them to the originals within the system. Someone with access to medical files would see the revision. You would have to be looking specifically in your file, though, sir. I understand. If you could go in and reset my file for now, and see if you can see who accessed it. Right away, sir. To be continued after the break. So, here we are. Day 382. Trying to think of an ad. I'm hungry, cold, I'm tired. I think the wolves are after us. We did eat both the dogs. Let's just get an ad. One ad. It's all we need. Oldtimeradio.podbean.com. Your tears are salty. They're nourishing. <laughs> Help me. Finland Oldtime Radio.podbean.com. Damn you to hell. Why have you forsaken us? Why have you made yourself so funny? Arkham goes to the bridge and tries to make it through the rest of the day. Having a sword dangling above his head drains him, but he hides it from the rest of the crew. The unrest in the civilian population is increasing. The pressures on the settlers is building and he knows he will have to deal with it sooner rather than later. Armitage will be a help there. He transferred from that section. Sir, it's your dinner break, sir. Uh, yes. Okay. I'll take it my office. As Arkham walks into the captain's office, his personal calms chirp. He expects the bridge with a minor emergency, but instead he is shocked. He stops dead when he hears the voice. Have you read the ticket, Yellow? Arkham doesn't answer. He can't answer. Those were Dyer's last words and the muttering of a serial killer. What does all of this have in common? I said, have you read the ticket, Yellow? Arkham, with your genetic history, I'm sure you would get a lot out of it. 
Well, you will have a chance, because you will be sending the file over the news net to everyone. I will have read it. Has this will might be done. Arkham finds his voice. Haster? Send the file, or everyone will know your secret. It's just a book. Isn't that worth not being shown as a liar and a fraud? The file will be sent to you. Send it out, or else. The line goes dead again. Arkham instantly contacts Armitage. He is sure the blackmailer doesn't know that someone else knows his secrets. He just contacted me again. He wants me to send out a book to everyone. Something called The King in Yellow. Any ideas? There's a strange pause. Then Armitage answers. I have heard some whispers in the civilian sectors. That name has been associated with an uncommon number of events. There has been a marked rise in violent, unmotivated crime within the settler sector. I just thought the situation with the Phoenix had pushed the people over the edge. But now, we have no way to trace comms, but only a small number of people will have access to yours. I'll start going down the lists. Um, Arkham doesn't like the sound in Armitage's voice. There's more to this than he's saying. He has lost his appetite, but now he has the chance to finally see this king in yellow. Maybe reading it will give him the answers. He gets to his office and sits at his computer. The file is there. He is about to click on it, but the screen fills with the words, Do not read the king in yellow. What the hell? The words disappear along with the file. What now? Yes? I think I figured out who access the file. A Dr. Zaranak. I don't know why he's doing it. I'll find out. No, Crabtree. Leave it to Armitage. Crabtree, do not- The line goes dead. Arkham calls Armitage. Chief, the blackmailer's name is Dr. Zarnak. Do you know him? Yes. He works at the med center, outside the civilian sector. I'm on my way. I'll be there soon. Crabtree went to confront him. Look out for him. It's too far, sir. We'll handle it. I'll make sure Crabtree doesn't get in the way. Armitage hangs up and Arkham has to just sit and wait. A doctor that makes sense. He would have access to the files, and all medical staff have full comms access. At least they will finally get some information on this King in Yellow and Haster. Arkham can't help but feel the Phoenix is connected to all of this. Armitage and his sec team rush into Zarnak's small med center. Armitage doesn't like where all of this is going. He thought he had stamped out the cult of the yellow sign, but now all of this. It can't be a coincidence. As the team enters the med center, they find Crabtree standing over the dead body of the doctor with a bloody scalpel in his hand. Drop the knife! Crabtree turns. He looks like he is in shock. He drops the scalpel. Armitage motions to the sec team to arrest Crabtree. It, it wasn't me. It wasn't me, I swear. We'll figure it out, Crabtree. Just relax. It wasn't me. Later, Arkham visits Crabtree in the brig. Sir, thank God. You have to believe me. I, I would... I couldn't kill someone. What happened, son? I figured out who had been blackmailing you. Dr. Sarnak was the one. He... the blood. It's okay. Tell me what you saw. I entered the med center to try to convince Sarnak to not to do this. He had to know what he was at stake. He was lying on the ground. And... Did you see who did this? Crabtree looks up at Arkham. There is real fear in his eyes. No. No, not really. Crabtree lied. He had seen who had done it, but the man had explained that it was for the good of the ship. He told Crabtree not to tell anyone. The voice he had used left Crabtree no choice but to agree. The man put the scalpel in his hand and was gone in an instant. Seconds later, Armitage burst through the door. Someone else is on the ship killing people. But is he doing good or bad? 
It wouldn't be too long before Arkham and the rest of the Nilarfetep find out. Tune in for the next episode. Hey, Jack. Hey, Rob. Funny meeting you here. In the studio, in front of the mic. It's uncanny. It's not a regular occurrence anymore. Ever since Studio H got shut down for, well, things. Violations. Health code violations. You know how it is. Ever, ever since that happened, it's not been as regular. Speaking of regular, you regularly update your Twitter account. I call it our Twitter account because it's Vinland OTR. And what does that stand for, Rob? Vinland Old Time Radio. That's this little podcast we do. I don't know if you've heard of it. Have not. That's funny because you record it. Oh, I didn't tell you were recording? No, this is just me uh-huh. being me. Anyways, uh, yeah, so if someone would want to uh, follow your uh, your Twitter account. Our Twitter account. How would they do that? At Vinland OTR. Fantastic. And uh, people who don't want to follow our Twitter account, who are on Twitter, you make baby Jesus cry. Live with that. At Vinland OTR. Two N's in Vinland. It's not Vinland, it's Vinland. If you can't spell, we don't want you.